करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ मे मंथ 2024 ऑल राइट सो लेट्स सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट डेज ऑफ मे मंथ 2024 सो फर्स्ट मे वी हैव इंटरनेशनल लेबर्स डे एंड द थीम फॉर 2024 वाज इंश्योर वर्क प्लेस सेफ्टी एंड हेल्थ एमिड्स क्लाइमेट चेंज ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट वी हैव थर्ड मे is observed as world press day and the theme for 2024 was a press for planet generalism in the face of environmental crisis next 7th may world asthma day and the theme for 2024 was asthma education empowers next 7th may world athletics day next we have 8th may World Red Cross Day and the theme for 2024 is I give with joy and the joy I give is a reward. Next, 11th May National Technology Day. Next we have 12th May International Nurses Day. Next, 12th May International Mothers Day. Next we have 21st May National Anti-Terrorism Day. The death anniversary of late Rajiv Gandhi is commemorated as Anti-Terrorism Day. The pledge expresses to resolve all forms of terrorism and violence and to promote peace. Next, 22nd May International Day for Biological Diversity. All right. Next we have 31st May World No Tobacco Day and the theme for 2024 was Protecting Children from Tobacco Industry Interference. All right. Next we have 30th May is observed as Foundation Day of which state? So the answer is Goa Foundation Day. Who received the Amal Clooney Women's Empowerment Award from King Charles III? The answer is Arti. Arti, an 18-year-old woman from Uttar Pradesh, Bharati district, received the Amal Clooney Women's Empowerment Award from King Charles III. Next, we have who became the first Indian to win Best Actress Award. in cannes film festival the answer is actor anasuya sen gupta has become the first indian to win the best actress award at the cannes film festival she received the award for her role in the film shameless all right next we have which indian film has won the award at cannes film festival the answer is all we imagine as light Payal Kapadia scripted history by becoming the first Indian filmmaker to win the Grand Prix award at Cannes Film Festival for All We Imagine as Light. All We Imagine as Light is a drama centered on two Malayali Malayali nurses. So this film got the award at Cannes Film Festival which was directed by Payal Kapadia. All right, next we have who won the Indian Premier League 2024. So I guess everyone knows this Kolkata Knight Riders KKR. So KKR won the IPL 2024 finals defeating SRH uh, which is Sunrisers Hyderabad which was held in Chennai. KKR captain is Shreya Sayer and SRH captain was Pat Cummins. All right. Next we have Indian Premier League 2024 awards. All right. So emerging player of the season is given to nitish kumar reddy from srh electric striker of the season jake fraser uh, most valuable player sunil narayan most force in the season travis head most six in the season abhishek sharma catch of the season Ran- uh, ramandeep singh fair play award uh, is given to sunrisers hyderabad team purple cap is given to harshal patel orange cap virat kohli pitch of the ground award hyderabad stadium upal and fantasy player of the season is given to sunil narayan so these were the ipl 2024 awards all right next we have when is international everest day observed so the answer is may 29 next when is hindi journalism day observed to honor the contribution of hindi journalism and journalist So the answer is May 30 Hindi Journalism Day is observed on May 30 to honor the contribution of Hindi journalism and journalists the date marks this date marks the publication of Udant Martand the first Hindi newspaper in India in Calcutta on May 30 1826
All right, so this is important. Which was the first Hindi newspaper in India? Udant Martand. All right, so before moving further, I want to tell you that if you want to buy the monthly current affair PDFs, then you can text me over WhatsApp. All the PDFs from January to May 2024 are available at a very affordable prices. And my WhatsApp ID is given in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. Alright, so let's move further now. Which drone is being inducted by the Indian Army to enhance surveillance capabilities? The answer is Drishti 10. The Indian Army is set to induct the Drishti 10 drone Hermes 900 to enhance its surveillance capabilities along the Pakistan border. Next, with which country is India collaborating on shark and ray research in the Arabian Sea? The answer is Oman. The collaboration includes workshop, knowledge sharing and research activities led by experts from both the countries. Next, we have which Indian footballer recently announced his retirement from international football? The answer is Sunil Chetri. Sunil Chetri, Indian footballer, has announced his retirement from international football. His final match will be the FIFA World Cup qualifier against Kuwait in Kolkata on June 6. Next we have, where did the fifth joint group of customs, J? GC meeting between India and Bhutan take place? The answer is Ladakh. This meeting focused on various bilateral issues including trade infrastructure development, highlighting the strategic importance of Ladakh in enhancing connectivity and trade relations between the two countries. Next we have, who has been elected as the chairman of Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative, IFFCO? The answer is Dilip Sanghani. Next, Surjit Pathar, who recently passed away, was primarily known for? The answer is poet and writer. His contribution to Punjabi literature recognized the honors like Padma Shri and Sahitya Academy Award, highlighting his significant impact on promoting and preserving the Punjabi language and culture. Next, who became the first Indian male wrestler to qualify for 2024 Paris Olympics? The answer is Aman Sherawat. Next we have, who has been appointed the role of chairman at Tata Electronics? The answer is N. Chandrasekharan. N. Chandrasekharan, the chairman of Tata Sons, is poised to become the chairman of Tata Electronics, showcasing Tata Group's commitment and its semiconductor business. Next we have, which team won its maiden Sultan Az Azlan Shah Hockey Trophy? The answer is Japan. Japan made history by winning its first Sultan Azlan Shah Hockey Trophy title after defeating Pakistan in a penalty shootout. Next we have, with which country did India sign a 10-year bilateral contract to operate the Chabhar Fort? The answer is Iran. India and Iran signed a 10-year bilateral contract to enhance operations at Chabhar port, highlighting India's strategic interest in strengthening trade links with Central Asia and parts of Europe. Next, on which date did the United Nations General Assembly declare World Football Day? The answer is on May 25. This decision coined with the 100th anniversary of first international football tournament emphasizing football's role in promoting peace, development and unity among nations. Next we have, which organization announced plans to build the first lunar railway system on the moon? The answer is NASA. NASA unveiled its ambition plan to construct the first lunar railway system known as float flexible aviation on a track designed to revolutionize payload transport on the moon. Well, what is the full form of NASA? It's National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. Alright, next we have which company signed MOU with MSDE for the Drone DD pilot project? The answer is Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. 
Mahindra and Mahindra Limited signed an MOU with the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship MSDE for drone DD pilot project aimed at empowering women in agriculture through drone technology. Next we have how many languages does Hanuman a Gen AI platform support? The answer is 98 languages. This platform aims to expand to 200 million users in its first year to support AI startups and facilitate tech translation across multiple sectors like healthcare, governance, finance and education. Next we have where did TCS unveil its global artificial intelligence AI center of excellence? The answer is Paris, France. Next, what is Moody's forecast for India's GDP growth in financial year 25? The answer is 6.6%. In which country has PhonePay launched UPI payments? The answer is Sri Lanka. Next, which organization introduced its latest large language model LLM called GPT-40? The answer is OpenAI. OpenAI introduced GPT-40, their latest large language model, as their fastest and most powerful AI model to the date. Next, who was awarded the Sahitya Academy Fellowship? The answer is Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond, an eminent English author known for his extensive body of work, including over 300 short stories, essays and novels, was awarded the prestigious Sahitya Academy Fellowship. Next we have, who recently became India's 85th Chess Grandmaster? The answer is, P. Sham Nikhil from Tamil Nadu achieved the prestigious title of Grandmaster, becoming India's 85th Chess Grandmaster. Next we have, which country became the first in the world to lose all its glaciers? The answer is Venezuela. Venezuela situated on the northern coast of South America became the first country globally to lose all its glaciers. Next, who has been appointed as additional director in Central Bureau of Investigation CBI? The answer is a. Y. V. Krishna and N. Venu Gopal, both senior Indian Police Service IPS officers, have been appointed as additional directors in Central Bureau of Investigation (CBI). Next, we have which institution secured the top position among Indian higher education institution in a recent ranking? The answer is I. I. M. Ahmedabad. According to the Center for World University Ranking, IIM Ahmedabad secured the top position among Indian higher education institution ranking 410th globally. Alright, so before moving further, I would like to let you know, if you want daily updates on current affairs, then you can follow me on Instagram. And my Instagram ID is given in the description box. Alright, so let's move further. In which state? Will India's first 15 MW floating solar plant by sale be installed? The answer is Chhattisgarh Steel Authority of India Limited SAIL sale will install state's first 15 megawatt floating solar project in Chhattisgarh. Alright, next we have who has been appointed as CEO of Wipro APMEA Strategic Market Unit. So the answer is Vinay Firaki. Vinay Firaki has been appointed as Chief Executive Officer, CEO of Wipro's Asia Pacific, India, Middle East and Africa APMEA Strategic Market Unit SMU. Alright, so this is not CEO of Wipro, it is CEO of Wipro's APMEA Strategic Market Unit. Alright, who is he? Vinay Firaki. Which country has witnessed its lowest population growth rate in eight decades? The answer is Nepal. Nepal has recently reported its lowest population growth rate in eight decades at 0.92% per annum over the past decade. Next we have, what is Kutch Ajrak known for and recently seen in news? The answer is, it's a traditional textile craft. Kutch Ajrak is a traditional textile craft renowned for its 
intricate design and rich cultural heritage. Recently, it received the prestigious geographical indication GI tag, highlighting its unique identity and significance in the vibrant region of Kutch. Next, we have who has been elevated as the president of Larson and Tubro? L. Anti. The answer is R. Shankar Raman. Next, which country is set to host the 9th ICC Women's T20 World Cup 2024? The answer is Bangladesh. Bangladesh is gearing up to host the highly anticipated 9th ICC Women's T20 World Cup 2024 from 3 to 20 October. Next we have who is set for her third space mission abroad Startliner's maiden crewed flight. The answer is Sunita Williams. Indian origin astronaut Sunita Williams, accompanied by Butch Wilmo, is preparing for her third space mission abroad, Startliner's inaugural crewed flight. Scheduled for 7th May, this mission is significant as it tests the system of Startliner's spacecraft. Next we have... With which country has Adani Green Energy signed a 20-year power purchase deal for wind power stations? The answer is with Sri Lanka. Next we have, which country is India aiming to finalize a local currency settlement system agreement? The answer is Nigeria. India and Nigeria are working together, finalizing a local currency settlement system agreement to enhance bilateral trade. Next, which football club clinched the La Liga 2023-24 season title? The answer is Real Madrid. Real Madrid, the Spanish football giant, secured their 36th La Liga title in 2023 and 24 season. They achieved this milestone after defeating Cardiz. Next, which country collaborated with Nagaland to inaugurate the Kohima Peace Memorial and Eco Park? The answer is Japan. Next we have which country has unveiled an AI-generated spokesperson named Victoria Xi for its foreign ministry? The answer is Ukraine. Ukraine has introduced an AI-powered digital spokesperson Victoria Xi for its foreign ministry, marking a significant advancement in diplomatic communication. Next we have, where did the Indian Army and Indian Air Force conduct a joint exercise titled Gagan Strike 2? The answer is Punjab. The exercise aimed to refine, process and validate the use of attack helicopter in mechanized operations, showcasing joint manship between the two branches of Indian Armed Force. Next, who has been appointed as director in the Ministry of Ayush? The answer is Subodh Kumar. He is an IAS officer of Tamil Nadu cadre and Ayush stands for Ayurveda Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. Alright, next we have who has been appointed as the Executive Director at RBI, Reserve Bank of India? The answer is R. Lakshmi Kanta Rao. Next, which bank has introduced UPI for NRIs using international mobile numbers? So the answer is ICICI Bank. ICICI Bank has introduced a groundbreaking feature allowing non-resident Indian NRI customers to UPI transactions in India through their international mobile numbers. Alright, next we have, where did the 26th Asian India Senior Officials Meeting take place? The answer is in New Delhi, Asian is the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. ASEAN is a regional intergovernmental organization including 10 countries in Southeast Asia encouraging intergovernmental cooperation. Alright, next we have who has been appointed as the new country manager for India by visa? 
The answer is Sujay Raina. In this role, Raina will lead Visa strategic initiative in India's digital payment markets, working closely with clients and broader payment ecosystem. All right. Now, next we have which organization celebrated its 65th Raising Day recently? The answer is Border Roads Organization (BRO). Next, how many medals India won at ASBC Asian Under 22 and Youth Boxing Championships? So the answer is 43 medals. India secured a total of 43 medals at ASBC Asian U22 and Youth Boxing Championship held at Astana, Kazakhstan. Alright, now next we have who recently became the first Indian bowler to achieve 350 T20 wickets. The answer is Yuzvendra Chahal. Yuzvendra Chahal, the leg spinner from Rajasthan Royals, made history by becoming the first Indian bowler to claim 350 wickets in T20 cricket. Alright, now next we have which institution has received 9 defense tech projects from DRDO? So the answer is IIT Bhubaneswar. DRDO has handed over 9 defense tech projects to IIT Bhubaneswar from its electronic and communication system ECS cluster. So what is the full form of DRDO? It's Defense Research and Development Organization. Alright. Next we have. Which newspaper secured top honors at the 6th International Newspaper Design Competition? The answer is the Hindu newspaper. Okay. Next we have. Which country successfully launched a candle wax powered rocket named SR-75 using liquid oxygen? The answer is. Germany, High Impulse, a German company, achieved this by fueling the rocket with paraffin and liquid oxygen. So, 1st May was observed as International Labor's Day. Important. Next we have, 1st May was observed as Foundation Day of which states? So, the answer is Maharashtra Foundation Day and Gujarat Foundation Day. Alright, it was also on 1st May. Okay, next we have, where India's biggest climate clock is installed? The answer is in New Delhi. So, recently the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, installed and activated India's biggest climate clock at the CSI, CSIR headquarters in New Delhi as a part of Earth Day celebration. The event signifies CSIR's aim to spread awareness about climate change and to make people energy literate. Alright, now next we have, who is the ambassador of ICC Men's T20 World Cup? The answer is Yuvraj Singh. Next, who received Green Oscar Whitley Gold Award 2024? The answer is Purnima Devi Burman. Purnima Devi Burman of Assam receives the Whitley Gold Award 2024 for conservation efforts benefiting the endangered greater adjacent stroke. It's a bird and its habitat. Alright, next we have where was Critical Minerals Summit inaugurated recently? Answer is in New Delhi. A two-day summit titled the Critical Minerals Summit Enhancing Beneficial and Processing Capabilities inaugurated at the India Habitat Center, New Delhi. The event has been planned to foster collaboration, sharing knowledge and driving innovation in the field of critical mineral beneficial and processing. Okay, next we have 10 eminent personality to be awarded the Lachu Maharaj Award for Kathak Exponent. So, Pandit Rajendra Gangani. Uh, has received this award for 2024 and uh, 10 personality have received among which Hema Malini and Saira Banu are among the 10. Hema Malini for the year 2018 and Saira Banu for 2019. So no need to remember all the 10 names. These are enough. Okay then next we have who won the 2024 Miss Universe Bunos Iris. The answer is Elenjindra Marisa Rodriguez, 
the 2024 Miss Universe Beyonce Aries winner Alejandra Mariza Rodriguez who made history as the first 60 year old contestant to earn the prestigious title the pigeon queen who is lawyer and generalist from la plata bet 34 other contestants so she was 60 year old okay so that is important here next we have who has been appointed as the md and ceo of axis bank who is the current md and ceo of axis bank so the answer is amit choudhury outstanding public sector undertaking psu of the year award is given to the answer is hindustan aeronautics limited hal hindustan aeronautics limited has been conferred with the outstanding public sector undertaking psu of the year award at all india management association AIMA Managing India Awards Ceremony The award was given by Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar in Delhi All right next we have who is appointed as Director of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs M O H U A So the answer is Sunil Kumar Yadav Sunil Kumar Yadav an officer from Indian Revenue Service IRS has been appointed as the director of ministry of housing and urban affairs and shri hardeep singh puri is the ministry of m o h u a ministry of housing and urban affairs all right next we have who has been appointed as the deputy governor of rbi so the answer is shri t ravi shankar the governor the governor of uh, rbi is shri shakti kanta das and there will be four gover- deputy go- governor of rbi so the four deputy governors are first one is dr md patra next shri m rajeshwar rao next shri t ravi shankar and next shri swaminathan ji so these are the four deputy governor and governor is shri shakti kanta das next who is appointed as the president of indian vaccine manufacturers association ivma so the answer is krishna m l a bharat biotech co-founder krishna m l a was appointed as president of the indian vaccine manufacturer association ivma for two year term from april 2024 to 2026 all right next we have six asian carom championship So Indian players captured both men's and women's double title at meal in Maldives. So the winners from men's double are K Srinivas and Mohammad Gufran and in women's double we have Akansha Kadam and Shaini Sebastian. All right. Where was the world first high speed 6G device launched? The answer is Japan. Japan and Wheel The prototype of world's first high-speed 6G device showcasing a data transmission rate of 100 gigabits per second. Next we have who has been appointed as the first woman police director general of police in Meghalaya. And the answer is Idashisha Nongran. Next, which state is home to India's highest tunnel recognized by the International Book of Honor? The answer is Arunachal Pradesh the Sela tunnel located in Arunachal Pradesh has been acknowledged as India's highest tunnel by International Book of Honor next we have in which event did Dipti Jivanji win gold medal at the World Para Athletics Championship 2024 the answer is women's T20 400 meter event She has also set a new world record with her remarkable time of 55.07 seconds. Next, in the 2024 WEF Travel and Tourism Development Index, what position did India achieve? The answer is 39th position. Next, we have who secured the top spot on Forbes list of the world world's highest paid athletes? The answer is Cristiano Ronaldo claimed the top spot on Forbes list of highest paid athletes accumulating 260 million dollars over the past year. Next, 
who won the gold medal in women's F51 club throw event at World Para Athletic Championship? The answer is Ekta Bhayan. Next we have who has been appointed as the new chief of measurement science and analytics at BARC India? The answer is Dr. Bikramjit Chaudhary, the Broadcast Audience Research Council, BARC India, the world's largest television audience measurement organization has appointed Dr. Bikramjit Chaudhary as its new chief of measurement science and analytics. Next. Who became the first Indian space tourist aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard spacecraft? The answer is Gopi Totakura. Gopi Totakura, an Indian entrepreneur and pilot, made history as the first Indian space tourist by joining the NS-25 mission aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard spacecraft. Well, who is the founder of Blue Origin? So, Jeff Bezos is the founder of Blue Origin, who is also the founder of Amazon. Next we have, which city high court has cancelled all OBC certificate issued after 2010? 2010. The answer is Calcutta. The Calcutta High Court invalidated all OBC certificates in West Bengal issued after 2010. Next we have, which airport in India has achieved the prestigious zero waste to landfill accolade? The answer is Tiruvanthapuram International Airport. Tiruvanthapuram International Airport has become the first airport in India to achieve the zero waste landfill accolade as recognized by Confederation of Indian Industries Center of Excellence for Sustainable Development. Next we have in which Indian state? Did Federation Cup 2024 Athletics Meet take place? The answer is Odisha. The Federation Cup 2024 Athletics Meet where Neeraj Chopra won the gold medal in the men's javelin throw event was held in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Alright, next we have Who has been honoured with the prestigious Shaw Prize in Astronomy for 2024? The answer is Srinivas R. Kulkarni. Srinivas R. Kulkarni, an Indian origin US scientist, has been awarded the prestigious Shaw Prize in Astronomy for 2024, recognizing his groundbreaking discoveries and contribution to the field of astronomy. Next, who won the gold in men's T63 high jump at the World Para Athletic Championship? The answer is Mariyappan Tangaveli. Mariyappan Tangaveli secured the gold in the men's T63 high jump event at the World Para Athletic Championship by setting a championship record of 1.88 meters. Next, when was Buddha Purnima 2024 celebrated? The answer is on May 23. Buddha Purnima 2024, also known as Buddha Jayanti, is celebrated on Thursday, May 23, 2024, marking the birth of and enlightenment and death of Gautam Buddha. Next we have, what is the aim of India's mission Ishan? Implementing one nation, one airspace. India's mission Ishan aim to implement one nation, one airspace by centralizing air traffic management and unifying four flight information regions FIRS into one controlled from Nagpur. Next we have, which Doordarshan channel has introduced Krish and Bhumi, the first AI anchors in India's government broadcasting history? The answer is DD Kisan. DD Kisan, on its ninth anniversary on May 26, 2024, introduced Krish and Bhumi, the first AI anchors in India's government broadcasting history. Next, we have which country will host the first dedicated discussion? on regulating tourism in Antarctica at the 46th Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting? The answer is India. In which country was the world's first 100% biodegradable pen was launched? The answer is India. The world's fully biodegradable pen, name the Note Pen, was launched in India by Saurabh H. Mehta from New Delhi. This innovation aim to address the significant issues of plastic waste generated by billions of discarded ballpoint 
pens annually next we have who recently became the oldest indian woman to scale mount everest the answer is jyoti atre jyoti atre aged 55 from bhopal achieved this feat of becoming the oldest indian woman to summit mount everest all right so before moving further i would like to let you know that now you can also follow me on instagram for daily current affair updates and my instagram id is given in the description below all right so let's move further which institution scientists developed a promising new malaria vaccine candidate the answer is jawahar lal nehru university next we have who recently conquered mount everest without supplementary oxygen becoming only the second pakistani to achieve this feat the answer is sirbaz khan sirbaz khan a notable pakistani mountaineer scaled mount everest without supplementary oxygen marking him as the second pakistani to achieve this feat all right so that is it about the may month current affairs now you can also follow me on instagram and also if you want to purchase the monthly current affair pdfs which are available at a very affordable rates from january to may 2024 then you can text me over whatsapp my whatsapp and insta id are given in the description below until then do not forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching